Gordon's got the ground game. It's a coach. You're set for Madden football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll get a look at Melvin Gordon, fresh off a big game a week ago, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Los Angeles Chargers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Seattle Seahawks and our home team. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger Club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. And I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They'll be led out by a fifth-round pick in the 2019 drafts out of North Dakota State. It's Easton Stick. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. Give them 12 yards there, and the Chargers have a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first carry for Melvin Gordon. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Hand him out, hand him out. With that, let's check out how the Chargers line up on offense. I have to admit, I've rather enjoyed watching Melvin Gordon's improvement as he's developed as an NFL player because it started for me in college. Every year he was in school, he would add something extra to his game. First year, he knew how to run. He wanted to add pass receiving to his game. The next year, he wanted to add pass protection to his game. Did all of that. That turned him into a first-rounder, and now a front-line NFL back. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. On second down now, it's Gordon. The numbers a week ago from Melvin Gordon. There isn't a coach alive who wouldn't like those numbers. Well over 100 yards and a touchdown, too. Partner, I think all the coaches are in that great coaching box in the sky would take those numbers. <laughs> so dead or alive? Either way, they would take they that would kind take of production. It. Now a play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Sack, baby! Sack! After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. They run on second down with Adams. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. 
Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Here's Stick looking to throw. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and Let's find something. There's nothing available there for him. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game. But sometimes it's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying if he can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. On first down, they stick with Singletary. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Hey, let's team. Let's team. Let's go. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. This will be caught by Brown. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Let's go. You tighten up. 57. Now it's Wilson. Now they go screen. It's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. So unable to get any yardage at all off of the screen there on third down. And ordinarily on third down, that's when you want to bring pressure. You get all your guys who want to get after the quarterback. But how about the patience they showed? Read the play, snuffed it out, and made a nice stop. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through, and the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here now, a look at Melvin Gordon. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We were watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and 10. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, it certainly appears that they're going to try and keep getting him the football. That's the third time they've looked in his direction. Unfortunately, haven't completed one yet, but I'm not sure they're going to shy away from him. They feel like they've got something there, and they want to capitalize on it. I think it. you're right. We're only in the first quarter, so a lot of opportunities ahead. That'll be put Let's in the go, books baby. as a 53-yard punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And out now come the Seahawks. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 21. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. 
And he's able to get up here to the 26. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll lead here to a third down. On third down, Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them, they're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. Come on, baby, let's go. Get excited. Let's go, let's go. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Rolling to his right. Got some room at the 30. And all the way up to the 35-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. Call it a loss of two on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. On third down, it's Stick on the move to his left. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now Gordon. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. So following the run by Gordon, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. Call it a gain of four on first and that'll make it second down. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. This is Gordon. Still on his feet. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. 
I like the look that they just showed there. When you come out in a passing formation, spread things out a little bit, makes it really hard to cover the middle of the field, doesn't it? Because yeah. you've got to go out to the perimeter and cover those guys. Yep, exactly. And got some good blocking, too. Helped him pick up the first. A first red zone opportunity here for the Chargers. First and 10 at the 19. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a 10th carry for Melvin Gordon. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. The Chargers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Now stick. And that is incomplete. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Myers' kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on them. I was. Partner. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down make five six seven yards on first down and make it a second and three second and manageable keep accumulating first downs that way keep moving the football you don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage and on this play the read for the quarterback was the defensive end and he was totally focused on the quarterback he should have given it off inside to the running back instead he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play so the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. That's complete. It's Collins. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And Jennings has it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw is Wilson. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And down right around the 37. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. An update from Denver. The Broncos have taken the early lead. That one tight to this point, and you'd have to imagine it'll stay tight throughout. Line of scrimmage moves from one 37-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. And that'll set them back five. To throw again is Wilson. That one complete to his receiver, Jennings. And he gets it down to the 32. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it's a second down. This is Brown on the carry. And he will force his way forward for a yard or two, but I have a good feeling this will be coming back. That penalty against D.J. Fluker, the behemoth out of Alabama. Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Wilson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And the Seahawks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 
Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And this will be out of bounds at the one here, the 12-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Following the penalty, here's Gordon. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a charger first. Now Gordon on first down. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. On second and 11 now. Stick caught by Allen. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The Chargers on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. Here it's third and two. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. Two sides to every coin. This is the bad side of missing the 58-yarder. Now they start at the 48. They defer to Brown to start the drive. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. Wow, that ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They get 17 on that one, move the chains, first down Seahawks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that's gonna wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Collins. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. On second down, it's Brown. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. 49 to Mike, 49 to Mike. You don't want nothing, baby. You don't want nothing. Hey, hey, you don't want nothing. To throw is Wilson from the gun on third down. Over the middle complete. That's Collins. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. This is first and goal from about the eight. Here's Wilson. Got a man. It's Brown. 
And here he'll get it down to the seven. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the 1. They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Offense. less of a field goal attempt for him. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Now they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're going to pick up a holding call. Yeah, and he's going to keep it here. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now the Chargers hustling, trying to get up and get set. On second down, they'll run with Gordon. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Stick back to pass. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On is the Chargers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes, but right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Here's Wilson to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, all right, Brandon. Thank you very much. Hi again, everyone. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the NFL as we are officially into the second half of the season. <laughs> Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter.
In our game has been Russell Wilson, who was dynamic, as usual, in that first half. His guys have the lead, as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Single, single. From the gun on third down. Wilson, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. On first down, Brown. And he's gonna get across midfield and into Charger territory. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three, Wilson. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. They'll start on the ground. This is Gordon on first down. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They keep it on the ground. Again, Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's Russell Wilson and the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. That's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Wilson now to throw on third down. He'll find Metcalf. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. 
And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. They'll start the drive with a run by Gordon. And he will double the space they have to work with as they take it from the two to the four. Another tote for Gordon. He's been busy this afternoon. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. Well, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, stick. And that's complete to Adams. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make it third and one. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. On first down, this is Adams. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a 20th carry, number 20 here for Melvin Gordon. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll throw on second down his stick. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute <laughs> bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line absolutely ideal from that position you're hoping to get it down inside the 15 inside the five superb and from the four they get it to the eight on a pickup of four wilson gonna fake the give and keep it himself this one into the hands of metcalf and he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here Wilson now from the gun on third down. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. This is Gordon as they go to him again. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but 
I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Off play action, it's stick. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 30 yards. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. First and 10, stick. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The linebacker, Bobby Wagner, able to get back in coverage and knock it free. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. On third down, it's stick. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They tackle them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there, hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 24 yards. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. So the offense, a little antsy, the flag comes out. Offense. Still second down. What? They're going to need some therapy after this. He's coming. Double up, double up. The 
Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well-timed effort there by Derwin James, a sack from his safety position. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. That's complete, it's Collins. And he'll be brought down, oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march off another 15 against your squad. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now it's Brown. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Second and five now. Wilson, and his throw here is incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Play action, it's Wilson. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle, and frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play-action fade. And Gold is able to put it through. And that'll open the lead up to a touchdown now at 13-6. to six. Now From a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A pickup of 24, and that's where the play began, the 24-yard line. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A good first down call as the screen play gets them nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Stick looks to throw. 
He's got Allen. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 12 more yards there and another first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Now stick. Blitz coming, and down he goes. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Easton Stick with touchdown number seven on the year. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. That's a tough one there defensively because look at the stops they got on first and second down and it's first and second and goal. And then on third down, they cover the receivers, but they leave an alley open for him to find, and he does. That is frustrating. You do almost everything right, and he still ends up in the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So the drive there took six plays, and it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. All square now at 13-all as he sends this one away. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive down with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. This is taken at the 15. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. And now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. From the 30 on second down. Stick toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Mike Williams, the intended target. And that'll make it third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. On the delayed handoff, this is Gordon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Here's Stick looking to throw. 
But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. He'll run it. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Now the Chargers hustling, trying to get up and get set. Looking to throw again on second down. Stick going underneath for Gordon. Give him six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Third down, they'll throw with Stick. They'll roll him out right. He may try and run for this. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now they run out of the shotgun with Adams. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 19-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So now this one will rest on the right foot of Jason Myers. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And his kick is good. A little bit of redemption after he missed two field goals earlier. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So for the home team here, they'll finish the first half of the schedule dead even at 4-4. Four and four. And they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for Seattle, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaudin.